Hello, everybody. This is Pete Garrettson at TAN, and there's Matt Hertig at, at Light Analytics. So, Matt, thank you very much for spending this time with us, and I'd like to learn a little bit more about you and the company. Quickly about Alight, you know, we started uh, about eight years ago. We're a blend of marketing, data, and technology experts. Some call us geeks, some call us nerds, but we bring all that expertise together in one firm. Interestingly enough, I think in the agency space, agencies look to us because uh, we understand the marketing vertical extremely, extremely well. So when you're talking to an agency, how do they describe their analytics strategies? If you think about really what the root of the problem is, right? Um, never before really in our history within the industry have we had so much data. The challenge is really rooted in being able to understand if I want to really solve the analytics challenge that we're faced with, um, how do I go first about, you know, solving this data problem? So it seems like that this really creates some real challenges in assembling this thing. When I talk to agencies, um, um, I refer to this process as the, what I call the data death march. The agencies look at all these data sources and figure out what data points actually made sense. And then we use this wonderful, awesome tool uh, th that we call Excel to pull this data down and try to construct it in some formulaic uh, methodology. Um, this is uh, horrendous. It's very labor intensive. It's... Uh, it's error prone, uh, it's not repeatable. Uh, but beyond this process and these first three steps, we, we wanna try to do is then build some charts to tell a story. And then what we typically do is we take those charts and we put them into PowerPoint. Pete, this is where I say, well, this is where data goes to die. And if you look at this, this spider web of, uh, of process, the inherent problem here is, is that we're trying to manufacture a data set um, from the left side all the way to the right side to tell some concise story. Typically when you're presenting, whether it be through some Excel report or PowerPoint, you, you kind of hope that the agent or that the client doesn't ask you hard questions. You kind of hope that you can get through the process and you show what the results were of the campaign or the media mix and, and the spend, and you kind of move on to the next thing because it never fails when the client asks, well, what about X or what about Y or what about Z? You're thinking in the back of your mind, oh, man, I got to go through this entire process again just to manufacture some sort of story. You know, how are they overcoming this challenge? We start with Channel Mix. Channel Mix is not only a data engine um, that we constructed, but it's something that we use each and every day with, within our firm. So there's really five or six key components to solve this data aggregation problem. First and foremost, we're going to build an automated way to bring all that data into a single place and aggregate it. Things in the digital ecosystem like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Analytics, email systems, we can actually construct you know, APIs, automated connections for channel mix to go out to those systems and pull that data down. And we're going to monitor it. And any other data that, frankly, I may not be able to connect to, sometimes you know, offline media like TV, radio, print, or um, other sorts of, of data inputs, those are actually monitored too. Again, making technology do the work, we're going to clean it up. So uh, today, probably one of the biggest challenges when I talk to agency partners is when they're doing things like campaign tracking within Google Analytics, it's prone to human error. And the problem is that now that data is wrong in the source system, whether that be Google Analytics, whether that be AdWords, whether that be Bing, or what other system of record you may have. So Channel Mix actually has algorithms that will clean that up. The next thing is, we can append geographic data, right? So you think about DMA, you think about county, city, state, zip, you think about international codes. Again, we're unifying this into one single data universe. So we can clean it up, we can add geographic components to it. We can add client business rules. One of the greatest things that, Pete, I, that I get most excited about as a self-proclaimed data nerd is, is when you bring all this data together, you can actually move beyond just reporting and analytics, but you can actually start to build modeling, attribution modeling predictive modeling, very, very powerful things, um, brand new stories that frankly clients are dying to hear, but agencies just aren't equipped to be able to answer the question. And of course, the last two are very, very important. Um, obviously, this is a very secure environment, uh, and so we, we have individual security protocols that we use, um, but probably most importantly, too, for the agencies is they're not alone in this journey. Um, we provide all agency partners a dedicated support team. So they're not just investing in a platform, but they're actually getting people 
And when you bring all this data together, they can choose any reporting tool that they want. Do you have some examples about how this goes together? So we work with we work with a lot of agencies today. Here's an example of where we immediately solved a significant data problem. Um, this particular client um, was was really interested in analytics. They they really wanted to. They had a lot of questions, and they really had this the significant analytics report that they wanted produced each and every month. In fact, uh, they were the agency was spending about 80 hours a month. And they were building this monstrosity, uh, literally a 60-page PowerPoint presentation consuming two resources. Um, the process was riddled with complicated manual data processes. And, well, by the time they shipped it over and by the time they had a chance to sit down with the client, guess what? The data death march started all over again. And so the solution was we implemented Channel Mix right away. Um, we aggregated all that media channel activity into a single, what we call a single source of truth. Um, it allows them to use Tableau to build automated dashboards that tell a clear story. The result was we reduced the reporting time by over 90%. Think about the cost benefit that I just provided to those resources. And basically what happened was, and this, this is a great case study that I love to share, resulted in expanded scope because they were able to actually take time to look at what the data was telling them. Terrific, and, and thank you, Matt. And I, I, I encourage you, if you're watching this, take the next step. Look up alightanalytics.com and, and get a hold of the team and learn more.